What's up everybody? It's me Lumbi. Welcome back to Lumbi True Stories. Today, we have yet another Reddit reading story for you guys. I have another special true scary story for you guys. And this one comes from Swest8802 and it's called The Babysitting Horror Story. And before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let's jump into it. I am a 17 year old girl and I work overnight babysitting three different girls. 11, 8, and 3. But the three year old has autism. It all started when I sent them to bed. Nothing abnormal about that, right? It was 11 p.m. and the light in the eight-year-old's room was on. Their bedtime is at nine. She does not have a door leading to her room. So I quietly sneaked out of the room I was staying in. I wanted to see what she was doing. Of course, she was on her phone. I asked her what she was doing and she just jumped because I snuck up on her. Well, she said, she was just turning off the phone. I thought that it was odd because she was acting weird, so I asked her for the phone. As I was pulling it up, lots of notifications were popping up. There were text messages, so me being the noisy teenager looked at them. To my surprise, it was talk from multiple ladies in their 20s or 30s. I didn't know how to react, so... I opened up the phone to see what was going on. That was a mistake. As soon as I opened up the phone, there was a video of a lady in a guy's mouth with full volume. Keep in mind, she is only eight years old. I immediately texted her mom and apologized for going through her phone. I also told her what I found. I continued my investigation and there were a lot more messages from ladies texting her if they want to see their or watch them play. The search history was a bunch of mouths. I was shocked. She is eight years old and I don't know where to go from looking at her phone. Should I just quit my job? So guys, what did you guys think about this story? There's a lot of children watching these types of stuff on the internet and who knows? Maybe if it wasn't for the babysitter, the parents would have never found out about this. And that's kind of creepy. And the ladies, I don't know if they knew or not if the girl is eight years old, but sending videos of you in a man's mouth to an eight-year-old child, that's kind of creepy. What do you guys think? Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new stories. Thank you guys so much for watching.